Welcome back to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. We're going to go on another search today looking for some beautiful places. We started our day with a good cup of coffee and a beautiful sunrise on the beach. That's just hard to beat. After breakfast, Warren and I went back up the beach to a piece of driftwood we had spotted earlier on the way down. And we went back up to prepare it for uh, cooking our meals. Of course, Duncan came along for moral support to help us work through cutting up this piece of driftwood. Uh, I've always been surprised by this little Harbor Freight Bauer chainsaw that uh, just does a great job. The saw blade has not dulled. The battery is strong. I used this all week on the beach. Uh, we cut up this whole log without any problems. Uh, no loss of power, just kept on working and it was a waterlogged piece of cedar. We loaded up, went back to our private little camp on the beach and uh, just started to split some of the wood. We found it was easy to split uh, but it was definitely wet so we laid it out in the sun. That first day, I don't know that we took in more than the feel of the sand under our feet, the sun on our skin, and the lift of the breeze coming off of the ocean water. It was just a wonderful place to be, to relax. We really just didn't do much else besides make our meals and uh, cooked a big dinner. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, and put it on. Yeah, look at that super fat. I never buy steak. Don't want cooking there very much. Yeah. We just took in the distraction of the beach and a beautiful sunset over the dunes and went to bed early. Hi, Remy. In the morning, we woke up to this ethereal fog and humidity that it kind of blocked the sunrise a little bit, but it was beautiful just in a different way. After breakfast, Warren and I decided to explore the beach to the south in the Jeep, and Natalie and Michelle just walked along the shore. You just have to drive an old Jeep down the beach with the windows down to get the feeling. It's very hard to describe what this was, but it was very peaceful. It was very free. It was awesome.
most of our ride was peaceful ocean on one side, dune on the other, air flowing through the Jeep from one side to the other, until we reached something that was rather surprising. It appeared to be a homemade boat. And you can't but ask the question, did the people who set out in this boat get to their destination? While the appearance of this slapped together boat was a bit sobering, uh, we moved down the beach and explored some other areas, but certainly left a little bit of a uh, mark on us to have seen this and also to have seen the routine patrols of Border Patrol up and down the beach. We jumped back out of the Jeep where we saw some sand dunes that had some paths up over them. I guess it was kind of iffy whether or not we did that. It didn't seem like there was an absolute prohibition as long as you were not stepping on the vegetation. Stepping on the vegetation is very destructive to the roots and the plants and that's what causes wind erosion um, and water erosion along the dunes, so I'm pretty careful not to step on the vegetation. I wandered a bit in the sandy dunes just right behind our campsite and came back down and found Michelle.
Today, my main objective was just to reread one of my favorite short books. It's kind of inspirational for me and uh, sit and take in the sound of the waves right at the edge of the water. I rescued that kite from a dune, pulled enough string out of the sand with it, and uh, hooked it up at an angle and we were able to get it to fly on its own. So, uh... One little piece of good wood in there. And you can see the sap is like boiling right on the, the edge. It's gonna catch fire. I think most of our evening tonight was filled with playing in the sand, trying to get a fire going, and just goofing off. I hear sizzling. I'm gonna wait here until you, she stirs it. Unless you need me to stir it. <laughs> You know, I know how to stir. I've been specially trained to stir. <laughs> the, the order is shut up and stir. <laughs> Less talky, more stirring. Less talky, you do it. Become the official. Oh, I didn't see you had a pepper on there. Yeah. A little jalapeno. That's all. You used to always say it to drive people nuts. What did you say? Jalapeno. Jalapeno. If I really want them to go nuts, I say jalapeno. <laughs> That's a new version. Jalapeno. <laughs>
It was another beautiful evening. Took in another beautiful sunset, and I think that Remy was making it a tradition to sneak down to me just as I was filming the sunset. This was the morning I think that we woke up to the most gorgeous sunrise. sun rising over Padre Island, that is one of the best ever. I think that the hues of the color, the sound of the waves, oh, a good cup of coffee helps. And that, was, that was one of the best. We couldn't stay forever, so we packed up and we headed out to our next destination. We were headed to the Guadalupe River. We were gonna experience it in the Texas Hill Country at Guadalupe State Park. Come back next time.
woods. When I cut wood, I don't always cut wood. When I cut wood, I cut wood in my Crocs and my expedition hat. I don't always cut wood, but when I do, I do it with my Solomon sandals and my Asics shorts. What would the YJ think? Right there. That's the YJ. That's the YJ.